hardware is the foundation of any IT security system, so it is logical to start uh, by looking at this layer. Let's do this. The concept of hardening is uh, something simple that can be summarized as reducing the potential attack vector by reducing the attack surface of a given system. In practice, uh, it is typically associated with security configuration, meaning we don't aim at uh, adding new layers of protection really, but rather at eliminating superfluous programs that you don't need or configuring what is left in the most secure manner. Example of hardening practices are changing default passwords, modifying GPO and, and Windows registry, configuring firewalls or applying uh, updates. Now, uh, when a, a manufacturer is also selling hardware, it has the advantage of being able to harden this out, out of the box. This is what Genetic is doing for its uh, string vault appliance line, for example. The box is hardened at the BIOS level, the OS level, network, and the application level so that uh, the customer can start with a good baseline. The end result is to limit the exposure to known vulnerabilities and common mistake. It also helps closing uh, vulnerability faster. Uh, hardening something can be a daunting task when systems are complex uh, and therefore manufacturers typically publish hardening guides and tools explaining how to do this. For the stream vault line, for example, we estimate to 11 hours the time uh, it would take someone to configure and test the stream vault the way they take do it. So a lot of time is saved by the customer barring it uh, hardened right out of the box. On the subject of uh, stream vault configuration and hardening, what we did also is to include a, a tailor-made software allowing you to configure important parameters all in one location. The control panel allow you to rapidly configure the network and computer setting. The directory database and backup settings are also uh, available directly from this control panel. So, Encrypted backups can be stored locally or in the cloud at the convenience of the user. In this self-managed uh, scenario where uh, you don't you control yourself the keys, uh, you, we don't have any kind of backdoor, you know. So if you lose the key, then you're you're on your own. There are also the possibility of Genetic managing the key for you. So it's a matter of convenience versus security and we let the customer uh, choose on this depending on his risk profile. Finally, uh, uh, you can also configure some important settings like uh, the antivirus that is uh, shipped by default uh, on the stream ball. So let's talk about this uh, antivirus. Silence is part of a family of antivirus called Next Generation because the method they use to protect against virus is different. Traditional antivirus use a signature-based engine, meaning that they identify a piece of software as a virus, label it as such by creating a signature, and then uh, this signature is, uh, is used to recognize it. It will be pushed to all antivirus agents, and the next time that the exact same uh, piece of software is seen, uh, it will be uh, flagged and blocked. If the virus changed by one byte, then it won't be recognized by those antivirus engines. So this is where next-gen antivirus are, are coming into the scene. They check the behavior of a piece of software and will categorize them as virus if they behave as virus, no matter how they are written. This is only relevant for our industry because it allows uh, to be well protected in offline scenario. Meaning, uh, even when the when the antivirus engine cannot receive new signature from the internet, and this is still right the most prevalent uh, deployment that we see today in our in our industry. So, this uh, silence antivirus can pre-install on, on stream vaults at no additional cost. So it's it's really uh, easy to to use out of the box. So in, in summary, we have a good example of a multi-layered security system here. OS hardening as, as the foundation, uh, malware protection on top of it. The, the part missing 
is a really hardening of the business logic application that will be run on top of this infrastructure. 